Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video and this is blue inks comparison number five. So I think with that, let's swap up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the description, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad. These are the pads that I actually use when I'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink. So they have these little squares up here. Uh, I just use that because it's a good guide for me. When I put this very thin sheet of Tomoe River over, I can actually see squares. So it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page. Not always, but sometimes it does. The, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3D and it has a number eight size Bok nib which I can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size Bok nib and the idea is I want to have consistency with the writing sample so I use this I dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it. And then at that point, uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it. That's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink we have here is Diamine Imperial Blue. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see that this is a very, very lovely deep blue. And I would say it almost has a bit of a, a, a tinge of violet or lavender to it. We'll do a second pass. And the reason why I do this is because you can see the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. I know a lot of people ask me why. So this is Diamine. And it's Imperial Blue. But that, for me, is quite a nice blue ink. And blue ink, I've actually now used half a bottle of, an 80 ml bottle myself. The next ink is Diamine China Blue. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is another nice blue ink from Diamine. And I have to say, again, it's, it's an ink that I have been using quite a lot lately. I do like this color. So we'll do, again, another second pass on the top half, just to show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. So this is Diamine. And it is China Blue, which I always expect China Blue to be a little bit more on the lighter side. And, and I will show you the box here. The box 
looks very different to that color there. The next ink is Herban and it's Blue Mysotis. Now we'll do an ink swatch. And this is an ink that I do like a lot. Uh, this uh, was one of several inks that I picked up. We'll do a second pass here. Uh, this was one of the, the two inks I picked up where I was trying to replace Papier Plume Forget Me Not Blue. And uh, this was a very close second running ink to that color. So this is Herben. And it is blue. And it's Myosotis. The next ink is Venvistus and it's Aqua de Spargi. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see here already, this is a very turquoisey blue ink. The kind of color that I would expect from, say, a Caribbean water. So we'll do a second pass just to try and show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. So this is Venvistus. And it is Aqua D. Spargy, but for me that is a very very nice turquoise blue ink. The next ink is Pilot Washer Zuku Azageo. So we'll do an ink swatch, and you can see that this is quite a, a deep blue ink. We'll do a second pass just to try and show the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. And this is Pilot Iroshizuku. And it is Aza Geo. But that for me is a very nice deep blue. And then the final ink here is Pilot Awashizuku Aji Sei. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now I had mentioned that there were two inks that were very close runners to Papier Plume Forget Me Not Blue. And this was the one that actually won for me. So we'll do a second pass just so that you can see the difference on top between a wet and a dry writing nib. So this is Pilot, Awashizuku, and it's Aji Sei. But that for me was the ultimate winner. Uh, her band Blue Mysotis came in second, but I wanted a, a lovely blue with a little bit of violet or lavender in it and uh, out of those two this was the ultimate winner so i think now that these inks have dried let's take a look at these in a little bit more detail so the first ink here is diamine imperial blue and i find that this is a really nice blue uh, i do find it has maybe a hint of purple or lavender or violet in it uh, it's a little bit off blue to me but it's an interesting blue. Now you can see the difference between what would be a wet versus a dry writing nib. This is a wet writing nib. There is a lot of shading going on here as well. So it's a good shading ink. If I take a look at the sheen, there is some sheen around the outer edges. Not a huge amount of sheen there, but there is just a little bit of sheen. So you may get some sheen from this ink. Uh, I don't see it though in the writing sample. The next ink is Diamine China Blue and this is an interesting uh, blue ink. Now I did mention that I think that the 
the colour on the box is actually a lot lighter than what the ink is in real life. That said, when you look at the comparison between a wet versus a dry uh, writing nib, the ink here, I would say that is a little bit more closer in the dry aspect to what the, the colour on the box looks like. There is obviously quite a bit of difference between wet versus dry. This is a wet writing nib. Uh, there is a huge amount of shading on, on this ink. And also, if I try to show you here as well, there is quite a bit of sheen around the edges here. So it's certainly around the pulled area of ink. So there is quite a bit of sheen there. Uh, it's not a sheen monster ink, but it does have some sheen. Now, I don't see that on the writing sample, though. The next ink here is uh, Herban or J. Herban, and it's Blue Myosotis. And this was one of the inks that I also wanted to try and uh, compare to uh, Papier Plume, Forget Me Not Blue. China Blue was another one as well, actually. But this was the main one that I was looking at to start with. And I think it, it gives it a good run for its money, but it's still not quite the same in terms of colour. Now, Herben Blue Myosotis is actually... Uh, there is a little bit of difference here between what would be the wet versus the dry here. There is a huge amount of shading going on there. And then if I try to show you here as well, there is some sheen around the edges of those pulled areas of ink. Uh, is there any sheening on the writing sample? No, unfortunately not. But there is just a small amount of sheen around the pulled edges there. So... Again, it is a sheening ink, it's just not a heavy sheening ink. The next ink I have here is Venvistus and it's Aqua di Spargi. Now, this is more of a turquoisey blue ink, certainly a colour that I sort of uh, recognise for sort of Caribbean waters. Uh, you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. This it clearly is a wet writing nib. There's a lot of shading going on here. Not too sure what happened there. Um, but there is a lot of shading going on here that you can see. Now, is this a sheening ink? No, it is not. But that is a very, very beautiful, beautiful turquoise color ink. So for me, uh, I have been on the lookout for some more turquoisey color inks. Very light blue ink, so so for that 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 certainly hits the spot for me. The next ink is Pilot Washizuku Azageo, and this is a deeper, darker blue, um, from a mid to a dark blue. I would say uh, it's a little bit difficult to see between a wet and dry writing nib. Uh, it is slightly lighter, maybe one shade lighter but not a huge amount. It is quite a dark blue ink that you can see here in the writing sample, which corresponds to it being a wet writing nib. Uh, there's a fair amount of shading going on, but look at this sheen. This is a sheen monster in terms of a blue ink. You don't normally see blue inks sheening massively, so that is actually a nice sheening ink. There is no sheen, though, on the writing sample again so uh, that's just unfortunate so you probably won't see it on a writing sample and then the last ink here is pilot washer zuku aji say and uh, after looking at diamine china blue and herban blue myosotis i was still on the hunt for another ink that would replace my papier plume forget me not blue and I have to say, this was the winner. This is a really lovely blue ink. I wanted a blue ink with a hint of lavender or violet, but more so lavender. And this is that ink. So you can see a huge difference between what would be a wet versus a dry writing nib. This is a wet writing nib. You can see a lot of shading going on there as well. Now, if I have a look at does it sheen? I'd have to say no, it doesn't. At least I am 
struggling to see it here. Uh, and it certainly doesn't sheen in the writing sample. But that is a really beautiful colour ink. And it's an ink that I have been using a lot lately. So there you have it. That's my Blue Inks Comparison number 5 video. If there are any of these inks that you like, do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any inks you would like me to compare, or if you have any inks that are similar to this, and do let me know in the comments below. So that's my Blue Inks Comparison number 5 video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.